Hi, my name is Brandon Scott, and I am the designer of the Brave Response Holster. I've been a member of the USA Firearm Training Team since 2007, and I have carried my firearm every day since. But I remember when I first started in the industry, I assumed I must be missing things when it came time to find a good holster. I started the same way most gun owners do, with a standard, in the waistband, leather and kydex holder that seems so widely available in all the stores. They are nice because they hold the gun in a forward cant for smooth draw, and they are secured to your body, and they hold your pants open for ease of practice drawing from concealed. But they are hard, and they printed really badly because they're rigid and bulky. In hindsight, I wonder if this is why so many of my past students say they don't continue to carry concealed after they get started. With repeated discomfort and difficulty in concealing, it's no wonder so many give up. Add to the problem that if you're like me and own multiple handguns, you end up paying $50 to $100 per holster and have to buy three or four of them. My other problem is I have a disease in which there is literally a straight line from shoulder blades to heels. I have no butt. Keeping my pants up is a full-time job normally, even more so with some five-pound Glock dragging them down every day. Forget about the deep tuck whatever belt clips. I could not get a natural-looking tuck on my dress shirts. Not to mention the fact that leather does not breathe. It didn't breathe when it was live skin. It does not breathe now that it's dead skin. So I'm pulling this soaking wet leather holster off when I get home every night, and it's beginning to smell like the gloves I wore to football practice when I was in high school. Now, I could have tried something like an ankle holster, but I don't wear the right kind of pants every day, and it really wouldn't work for everyday carry that we teach our students. The same problem exists with shoulder holsters. What to do in the summer when I don't want to wear multiple layers and bulky jackets? But I'm not the type to give up, so I decided to go with something a little lighter and made of a different fabric. This name brand holster was lighter and the fabric breathed better, but the whole purpose of this fabric is again not to breathe, but to retain water close to the skin to keep a scuba diver warm. Plus it had the same problem with dragging my pants down. Now at this point, Having only really tried two types of holsters, I'm already into this over $600 due to needing different holsters for each gun. I could have bought a decent new gun for $600. The other consistent problem with everything I had tried was the lack of a pouch for an extra magazine. Putting an extra magazine in my pocket to jingle around with my keys is not only foolish, it's also very impractical. But again, I'm not much the type to give up. So I started to experiment with belly bands. I found these three holsters on the market. They were much more comfortable. One belly band would hold multiple models of firearms, plus I could actually tuck in my shirt, but none held the gun securely in a forward cant, and none had a well-designed, secure way to hold extra magazines. The one here on the right had the best mag pocket idea, except for the fact that the magazine pockets were located literally on top of my kidneys. As you know, it is critical that you shoot how you train and train how you carry, and this just didn't seem compatible. I even wrote a letter to one of these manufacturers with some ideas on how they can make their holsters better, secure magazines, and not snag my pants with all the cheap Velcro, but they told me where to stick my idea, so I decided to build my own. I contracted with a professional seamstress to work on the initial prototypes. I knew I had to make something comfortable, concealable, safe, enduring, and versatile. After about 18 months of building and testing and scrubbing and revamping, we came up with a holster that will comfortably hold any semi-automatic handgun, and most concealed carry revolvers comfortably and with minimal printing. We incorporated the toughest materials we could find to be in direct contact with the gun. It's called shark skin, and we chose it after scraping it with our knives for three hours and not really being able to see any wear. Then we incorporated moisture wicking breathable materials into the body with a lightweight breathable elastic band and the highest quality molded hook Velcro that there is on the market today so it won't snag and pull like the cheap stuff everyone else is using. We wanted to encourage folks to carry the largest and highest capacity firearm they can comfortably carry and we believe we've done the job. Personally, I carry this configuration. All day, every day, FNX Tactical 45 with 31 rounds, 45 ACP. I carry it in my gym shorts and jeans, t-shirt. I carry it in my slacks, fully naturally tucked in in a button-up shirt. I deep conceal in my suit and tie. And I even had one guy run the dang Spartan race with it on. Yeah, really, he has it right there on his right hip under his running shorts. The whole idea is I wanted to create a holster that could hold any semi-automatic, plus two spare magazines and a flashlight. Standard police loadout. 
or three extra magazines, or two mags and a pocket knife, or just one extra magazine. I wanted to be able to carry the exact same no matter what I was wearing, something that would breathe and moisture wick, and I wanted something with minimal printing, maximal comfort, yet built on solid principles of defensive shooting like forward cant, smooth draw, and optional retention. Let me show you what I mean. First off, remember that this holster has an attached waistband. It will fit any waist up to 54 inches. Just attach it around your torso using the built-in band. Next, insert your firearm. Then, position the holster where you want it. Most of our customers will position it as an IWB holster inside the waistband. Lastly, secure the snaps for weapon retention. If you don't want weapon retention, you can remove the straps and they can be adjusted to fit any firearm. Remember, this holster will fit all semi-automatic firearms. These are handmade in the U.S. All materials are sourced from U.S. suppliers. These support American jobs. I could literally cut the price more than in half going to China, but I believe in America and keeping our money here. Now, I know this is going to be a game changer for you. Finally, a holster that will help you balance comfort with concealability in a way that you can carry every day. Now, I know at this point you're assuming this thing must cost a fortune. All USA sourced and made, shark skin, mag pouches and all. Most high-end holsters in the market are selling for $75 to $100. I'm pleased to offer this today for only $70. And remember, each person in your family only needs one because it will fit the majority of your firearms. Below is a little more detail on which guns fit, so scroll down and place your order today.